Black light, a message to my black wannabe gangster. Pay close attention to this one. They haunt our cities, respecting little but each other. When I wore my zuzu, I felt a tremendous high. I thought I was king of the world. They represent the dark side of the American dream, a dream turned into a nightmare. They had a list, $100 for what they call the big job. The big job was murder. They are the tarnish on the melting pot of America, the subject of myth and a maligned urban legend. They are street gangs, and this is their story. In every American city, they can be found. They exist in a shadow culture that occasionally explodes onto the front pages. These are the voices of the street gangs, and we ignore them at our own risk. It's a tradition, you know? It's been going on like that for, for years, you know? Yeah. See, you know, when I was coming up, in the 70s and the 60s, in Detroit, you know, uh, if you go to the store for your mother, and uh, you always see some brothers trying to get up on some wine or something, to get high off or, or shake you down for your for your money that your mother sent you to the store store with. They'd be, you know, congregating around the the, the neighborhood store on the corner. Drinking wine, getting high. Here you come by yourself, and they see the if they see some some punk in you, or if they think they see some bitch in you, they gonna jack you up for your for your money, man. You know. Now, this is not our culture, black man and brown man. You know, we didn't do that. We we were more hospitable to to each other. I mean, sometimes we had a tribe that was, a, you know, we were hostile towards, but you know, it wasn't like this. You know, it was very few in, and far in between when we would do something like this. Now, this comes from. The European Caucasian. This is his nature, his mentality that you're trying to imitate because you, in his domain, he made this his domain. He took it from you, black and brown man, and made this his territory. He was more violent than you. He was more bloodthirsty than you, more corrupt than you. He didn't blend in with, with Mother Nature, you know. You try to make Mother Nature a hoe. You see? Now he would talk godly, you know, Christianity, but that's to throw you off, to un to uh unarm you or to relax you 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 know, he come wearing the black robes with the collar, with the Bible, and you fell for that. Why you fall for it? Because he had Weapons of mass destruction that you haven't developed. And he still got weapons of mass destruction. And he sells it to you. Now, when he want to disarm you, he can disarm you. How would he do it? He won't sell you no more bullets, which they're trying to put through now. You know, to your gun. You just can't go and get bullets. And he going to stop... He, he gonna sell you old-fashioned uh, 
firepower that they stopped making. And he's going to stop selling you weapons altogether. You ain't going to be able to get them like you get them now. So, we're going to come back with a video. Black man and brown man, all you young brothers. Show you what kind of weapons he got that he's using. You know. You can't outdo him like that. You can't. The only thing you're doing is killing up your own people. Killing up yourself. And he was supposed to be your enemy. And he didn't turn the black man against the brown man. The brown man against the brown, black man. He didn't turn the yellow man against uh, the other yellow man. And the red man against the uh, black and brown. And all, you know. So, this video, these videos I'm making, is to make you think about what you're doing. But you're caught up in the habit of doing this. You're caught up in a lifestyle. Just you think that make you tough. And so, some of y'all, you know, rather than get caught up in them gangs and whatever, y'all going to join the army, which ain't nothing but some more gangsters. They just got uniforms that look alike. And they got better, artil better artillery than you got. You know, you know, you, can you dig it, brothers? You know? Do you know what I'm saying? No, y'all can't dig it because y'all too caught up in it, man. Too close to it. You know, it's been handed down from generation to generation. And that's the only thing you know. You won't step away from it and try to try something new for your neighborhood to do. This is Black Light.